Hi, welcome back to our ESU From the Workbench series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on your ESU ECOS command station. The first thing we want to do is make sure our ECOS is connected to our home network. On the back of the ECOS is an RJ45 port. Plug in an RJ45 cable into this port and the other end into your home router. Before we get started, we are going to need a few pieces of information from our ECOS. From the main screen, click on the Setup button. It's the picture of the ECOS with the red screen and the wrench in the middle. Once you are in the Setup menu, click on Setup 3 in the upper right hand corner. From the Setup 3 window, jot down on a piece of paper what software version you are running. Currently my ECOS is running version 4.1.0. Yours may be different. Now click on the Setup 1 tab in the upper left hand corner. After clicking on Setup 1, notice the row of icons on the left hand side of your screen. Click on the IP address icon which shows the computer, a wire, in your ECOS. Once you are in the Setup 1 IP window, write down on a piece of paper your IP address. In my case, it is 192.168.2.55. Yours may be different. Once you have this information written down, you can click on the green check mark in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This will return you to your main ECOS window. Once you have the information from your ECOS, go to your computer, open up a web browser, and go to our website www.locsound.com. Before you can download your updates for your ECOS, you need to create a new account. Click on the Create New Account link on the upper right hand corner. Fill out the information, username, password, personal information, uh, contact information, after you fill all that out, click on the link that says, I want to register a serial number. On the back of your ECOS is your serial number. Type it in and click on register now. ESU will send you confirmation of your new account. You will not have immediate access until ESU reviews your serial number and provides you with your information. Once ESU sends you your login information, click on the login icon at the upper right hand corner. Type in your information and click login. you will be sent to the My ESU Your Account page. Click on the Download tab. Click on Firmware and Software. Click on ECOS Central Station Reloaded. And here on this page, you will see a list of all of the firmware updates going back to 3.7.0 is the oldest. You want to install these one at a time. Um, the only one that we have to install for my ECOS, which is currently running version 4.1.0, is 4.1.2 is the latest. Click on the download link, read and agree to the license agreement, click on download. The download will begin 
and should save the file into your downloads folder. Once your download is finished, go ahead and minimize your web browser. Open up Windows Explorer. Go to your downloads folder. And you will see the new firmware download is a zipped file. I'm going to go ahead and right click that. And I'm going to say open in a new window. As you can see, this particular firmware update has notes in both English and in German, as well as a BCI file. This is the file that we will use to flash the firmware onto the ECOS. Make sure you read the release notes just in case there is a special way you need to install this firmware update. It will also tell you what changes have been made on this version. Now I'm going to right click on the BCI file and drag it onto my desktop. Just easier for me to find it there. Okay. Now Go back to your web browser. In the address bar, type in the IP address that you wrote down for your ECOS. In my case, it was 192.168.2.55. Press Enter. This will bring up a screen with all the information regarding your ECOS. Your software version, as you can see here in my case, is 4.1.0. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade this to 4.1.2. So, click on Firmware Update on the left-hand side. Click Choose File. Now, remember where you put the BCI file. In my case, I put it on my desktop. So on the left-hand side, I'll navigate the desktop. On the right-hand side, I'll find the ECOS update 412.bci and say open. You will see that the file name now shows up next to choose file. Click the Send button. You will notice at the bottom, it will tell you that it is uploading the software to your ECOS. Make sure there is no interruption during this process or your ECOS could get corrupted. Once the information has been copied to your ECOS, the ECOS will show a warning saying, updating software, do not unplug. You will also see back on your computer where it says firmware update, copy and update is okay, extracting is 14%, continuing, continuing, and so on. Just let it finish the process, do not interrupt it. Once the firmware has been successfully installed, you can check it in one of two ways. First of all, it'll show on your web browser, update successful, firmware update OK, rebooting. Once your ECOS reboots, click on Info, upper left hand corner. Now look at your software version. It is now, in my case, 4.1.2. The other way to check and make sure the firmware update took, go to your ECOS, click on the Setup button, which is the icon at the top uh, with the picture of the ECOS, the wrench, and the red screen. Click on Setup 3. 
and once you're at setup 3 you will see your software version. In my case it now reads 4.1.2. The update was successful. If your ECOS requires additional updates, go to the beginning of this video and follow the instructions for each subsequent update. We hope this At the Workbench video was helpful to you. If you have any further questions, our contact information can be found at our website, www.loksound.com. Thank you for choosing ESU. Thank you.